Ideas are the new oil and attention is the new currency. Starting out today as a young potential filled individual, the way to become successful is not to get into real estate, build an oil tycoon, or develop the next TikTok. The way to be successful is to pursue ideas. And with the continued growth and widespread adoption of platforms like YouTube, idea creation will continue to grow as an industry. So let's break this down. Why do I believe this is the future? The evolution of this pathway started with platforms. Google, Apple, and so on were released, creating the necessary spaces for people to be able to both make a platform and access it at the same time. Economic value was generated in the form of traffic, with billions of monthly users flooding to these sites that led to attention, which could be sold to advertisers. The second step was the development of social media, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok are a more finely tuned version of the above platforms. They belong to the search engines and are made on top of them and use their platforms to build a more finely tuned, trained audience, broken down into specific niches with their own appeal. But the value they created was the same. Enterprise value in the form of millions of active users who can be sold to advertisers. Now with this evolution, what is the next step? We know that the next layer is more specified and a smaller version of the previous layer that has a business model centered around attention and active users. So with this information, the logical next layer would be a more finite specialized version built on top of these social media platforms. And what is that? Content creators, specifically, the content creators that can successfully monetize their ideas. Following the pathway of the apps and creating their own curated news feeds, their own curated videos and hyper-focused communities. And it is the individual brand that is the filter, the people who successfully sell their ideas through unique, specific knowledge. And why I believe ideas are the next oil. But how can a content creator capture the same economic value as that of a social media platform? Well, for starters, it's important to note that because content creators are a smaller atomized version of social media platforms, most will not be able to capture the same amount of attention and economic incentive as the platforms themselves. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of money to be made. There is, and more than enough for everybody. But the key is to be entertaining or informative enough to keep your audience coming back. In other words, building loyalty. So how can this be accomplished? Your specific blend of experience and unique ideas, the creative model. Take three things you're interested in and mix them together. Focus on using your experience to tell stories, teaching people what you know or what you learned, presenting ideas that your audience didn't know they didn't know. One last point I wanna to touch on is how AI will affect this trend. And I believe, at least before AGI, that it won't have as significant of an impact as people think. Natural language processors like GPT-4 and soon 5 are only as good as the people asking the questions. And as a result, if you don't know what you don't know, you'll never be able to get this type of information from the chatbots or the NLPs. On the other hand, the YouTube algorithm works to expose people to the type of topics they are interested in, pushing the boundaries of what they don't know that they didn't know. So if you, as a creator, can offer people information in this position, you will be able to carve out a very successful career for yourself.